Welcome to Managing Hodgkin Lymphoma. My name is Andy Evans, and I am Professor of Medicine and Chief of the Division of Hematology Oncology and Director of the Tufts Cancer Center at Tufts Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm fre frequently asked, what are the relative roles of immunohistochemical studies versus flow cytometry results in the accurate diagnosis and assessment of patients with Hodgkin lymphoma? And I would say the quick answer is all the above are important. It's generally important to have, of course, a good relationship with your pathologist. Sometimes these diagnoses can be hard to make in, in terms of just the general diagnosis of classical Hodgkin lymphoma. As you know, only 1% or less of the cells in a biopsy specimen are actually the reed sternberg or Hodgkin reed sternberg malignant cells. The rest is microenvironment. And so especially nowadays where we're seeing increase in the number of core biopsies, it can be difficult to make a diagnosis. So that's always the first step. We still recommend uh, a excisional or, or incisional lymph node biopsy to really understand the, the diagnosis and the spectrum. It's complementary. Immunohistochemical stains are still done routinely. Flow cytometry can still be helpful for the diagnosis of classical Hodgkin lymphoma and also differentiating between some of the more uncommon subtypes, such as gray zone lymphoma, which is, com, contains some parts and similarities to classical Hodgkin lymphoma, as well as diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and then other entities such as nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. So again, in summary, I would say both immunohistochemistry and flow cytometry are important in establishing the diagnosis and differentiating between the different subtypes. Thank you for viewing this activity. For additional resources, please view the other educational activities at managinghodgkinlymphoma.com. Mm -hmm.